back to another LSPD Fire Patrol. Tonight we'll be doing a night patrol here in Rockford Hills. We're just in an alleyway at the moment using the pack by Tickle My Elmo. We've got our cruise lights on. We'll probably turn those off eventually. Seems like cruise lights are a highly debated topic among uh, <laughs> my viewers and other people I play with in the RP servers kind of what purpose they serve i've always been told they serve the purpose of just visibility you being able to see there's actually a cop there um supposed to be kind of like a proactive measure to prevent crime but other people think it's just a dead giveaway that there's a police officer there and it actually puts the officer in more of harm's way so i'd be interested to hear your guys's opinion about cruise lights do you like them do you not like them and uh, what are your thoughts about departments that keep them on all the time when their officer is on duty so we've looked at this car plenty of times before we won't go through all the features let's go ahead and get on duty dispatch lincoln 18 show me 1041 10 8 Four, copy that. One, Lincoln, 18. Citizens reporting a suspicious vehicle in West Vinewood. Dispatch Lincoln, 18. Copy that. Responding. Units respond code two. All right, we got a 911 caller calling in a black dilettante as a suspicious vehicle. So we're going to head up that way. Check it out. All right, let's go ahead, code two over there. Turn off our lights. Once we get a little bit closer to the scene, see if we can see anything suspicious happening. Now in the past, we've gone to some of these call outs and the, you never know what we're gonna find, honestly. So I wanna be on high alert here. It could be something actually pretty serious. Okay, so we're in the area of the reported vehicle looking for a black dilettante. We were not given any type of license plate information other than that it was a parked vehicle. So it could be anywhere in this vicinity. We'll have to actually find it. what took you so long to call? All right, what's back here? Nothing. All right, let's flip around in this parking lot. Obviously, whatever was happening, somebody was concerned enough to call in nine, into 911. Right. Now, I'm wondering if it's behind one of these businesses to the left. Do we have any... Uh, we have getting back there now. All right, uh, what we'll do, we'll go up ahead here, try to cut around behind some of those businesses and check out at the parked cars back there. It seems to be out of the view of uh, West Eclipse Boulevard. There are a couple alleyways back there. Let's see what how we can get back there. And of course we got vehicles running into each other. There we go. This might be the car in the corner of the parking lot. Match the description. So let's approach cautiously. Okay. Uh, what we're gonna do here is go ahead, turn on our takedowns. Let's call for backup. 
Requesting code 2 backup. Backup needed in West Vinewood. Get a plate check on the Dilettante 46 Charles. Copy that, Sam King 477. Appears to be empty. License plate. Four, six, Charles, Sam, King, Hunter's four, license going back seven, to seven, it. a traffic felony. Proceed with caution. All right. Let's go ahead and check this out. Got your cover! We've got a woman here who appears to be unconscious. Ma'am, can you hear me? Ma'am, I'm Officer Carson with the LSPD. Can you hear me? She appears to not be responsive. Let's go ahead and get EMS on scene. Requesting EMS. Roger that. One Lincoln 18. Requesting ambulance. Ambulance. Assistance required in West I'm going to be off south uh, Milton Drive behind businesses in the parking lot. All right, let's see here. So she is not responsive. I got an ambulance on the way. I can see why somebody called 911 about this. Okay, this makes sense. Uh, me calling the backup, that's just typical. Um, I've come to situations here where I pull up, somebody's got a weapon and is trying to actually harm an officer. So I did that mainly for my own safety. And especially since it's nighttime, visibility is uh, a concern. So I would rather have a second unit here just in case they tried something. All right, we're gonna let them uh, tend to this individual here. Uh, we'll probably take a look at the car, see if there's anything in there. Uh, cause we're gonna have to get it towed anyway, so we'll need to do inventory of the vehicle. And we do inventory of the vehicle, it's for the owner's, uh, owner of the car as well, just so they can't claim that we stole anything, and unfortunately, this person is gonna be deceased. Alright. Let's see if I can, uh, actually pull some identification off of her. And uh, apparently she was shot to death, according to the paramedic that was trying to revive her. We've got an envelope with protruding wires. It seems like everybody has something that could be an explosive on them these days. Ammunition shooting range start with a perfect headshot. She's got a receipt for some narcotics, legal narcotics, and a membership card for the golf club. All right, her name was Kim Richardson. I'm gonna pull her up in the co computer. Uh, we'll go ahead, call a coroner, get them on scene as well. Requesting coroner. Assistance needed in West Vinewood. All right, Kim Richardson was her name. Okay, she is valid, so I don't believe she's the owner of the vehicle. Not want it. No gun permit. Uh, 1998, so she's about 21 years of age. Now, the coroner is responsible for ultimately determining the cause of death, so they'll have their own reporting to do. Once they collect the body, get it back and examine it. Uh, once they get here, we'll start taking a look into the vehicle, see if there's anything else of question in here, and we'll have to contact the owner of the vehicle, let them know that, uh, their vehicle was picked up and where they can get it. All right, while the corner's getting here, I'll just go ahead and do the search. See if we can find anything. And we got a little bit of white powder residue in empty vials. Also a uh, penitentiary outfit. So, uh, I mean, it is about Halloween time. Could be a Halloween costume. We'll check out this white powder residue, see if that's anything. I 
wonder if it will recognize if I type in residue. If not, we'll just run in under white powder. Yep, it will be able to be tested. Where the heck did they park? <laughs> Sometimes in these like back uh, parking lots, it's kind of hard for the AI to get back here. Alright. Yep, and they're confirming death shot by a handgun. Could be a drug deal gone wrong. I don't know. If these are actually narcotics, so let's test them here. Yep, it's gonna be positive for an illegal narcotic. Okay. All right, man, I think I got it from here. I appreciate the help. I'm gonna move my vehicle out of the way and attempt to call a tow truck in here. We'll see how well that goes. Oh my gosh. That's one way to get out of here. Requesting tow truck. Tow truck. Assistance required in West Vinewood. All right. While the tow truck's coming in, we're going to fill out our report in the police computer. Kim Richardson found dead. And vehicle, small quantity of narcotics found in vehicle envelope with wires found as well. Official cause of death is going to be by handgun. So we're definitely looking at some type of murder scene. So we didn't find any type of weapon in the car. It's always possible it's self-inflicted, but um, in this scenario, it sounds like somebody shot her. So tow truck should be getting here soon. Like I said, it can be tricky getting to these back parking lots. So. We'll probably code four off of this call and wait till we get another call in for tonight's patrol. Dispatch wing in 18, show me code four and back to Nate. 10 four, copy that. One, Lincoln, 18. All right, the Sentinel in front of us just came back, reported as stolen. We're gonna go ahead and do a felony stop on this vehicle. See what he does. The police officer right in front of him as well. I don't know if he's gonna book it or not. All right, let's get that felony stop rolling. Assistance required in West Vinewood. All right, we're gonna be on Spanish Avenue, St. Vitus Boulevard. Vehicle appears to be occupied just one time. Charlie Four, roger that. We're in the All right, area. we're gonna take the driver out, okay? Driver, step out of the car for me. Raise your hands. Walk back to the sound of my voice, okay? Keep walking. All right, go ahead, get on the ground. Nice and easy. Don't make any sudden movements. All right, it. just comply. There we go. All right, secure here. Let me clear this car real quick. All 
Alright. What I want to do here. Just open the trunk. Just make sure nothing's in the trunk of the car. Nobody's going to pop out and hurt me. Alright. Trunk is clear. Alright. Vehicle is clear. Oh, possibly. Um, yep. Turn off the ALPR here. All right, let's go ahead and get you off the road, ma'am. I'll talk to you right here. All right, ma'am, the reason uh, you're being placed under arrest, this vehicle is coming back as a stolen car. Do you know anything about that? I stole the, oh, well she admitted it right away. Okay, well first let's search you. I don't want you trying to pull, pull out a weapon or anything um, on me. And since you admitted to, search, to stealing the car, we already know that's what you're gonna be charged with. Let me just get traffic slowed down. Okay, we got a metal spoon with burn spots, a youth tool name badge in the name of this pad. Okay, ma'am. So you made it to stealing this car. Also, we're getting a strong odor of alcohol on your breath. Um, have you been drinking today? Yeah, but I don't feel so good. Okay. Do you mind doing some uh, sobriety tests? We'll just have to do the breathalyzer because um, she's already handcuffed. And this questioning has been updated by our mod, Tim, with new colors. He did tell me what the colors mean, but I forgot. Um, let's see. Yes, breathalyzer. No. Okay, well, um, since you're not going to consent, we're just going to do um, probably a blood draw down at the station. Um, if you say no to consenting, that's automatic suspension of your license for six months, okay? So I'm gonna ask you one more time. Do you wanna take the breathalyzer test? Okay. All right, place her in the back of my car for now. We're gonna search the car you're driving as well. I'm gonna confirm again, it is stolen. Hey, you guys can uh, probably bounce. Uh, I got the rest of this. So we're not holding up traffic. Requesting play check. 10-4. Me 6-6. Six, six. Mary Adam Frank 031. Target vehicle license plate. 6-6. Six, six. Mary Adam yep. Frank 031. Stolen. A possible stolen vehicle. A traffic violation. Proceed with caution. All right. What we got? Unlicensed cooler containing human organs. Never a good thing to have. Empty bite bag. A printed article about a recent heist and support your local Wasp MC t-shirt. So really we're concerned about this cooler containing human organs. Not, uh, yeah. We're, <laughs> we're gonna have to figure out how she got access to this. Cause that makes no sense when she's on the black market for human organs. All right. So we're going to get that turned over to evidence. What we'll do here is request a tow truck and we'll start writing up some charges. We'll just confirm she's not the registered owner as well. Requesting tow truck. Needed in West Finewood. Okay, so her name is Penny. Yep, she is not the registered owner. She's got a soul in a blocking a railroad charge. That's interesting. So let's go ahead, create this arrest report. We will go ahead, um, charge her with being in possession of a stolen vehicle. 
Okay, um, the possession of the organs, I'm sure, would fall under something. I don't think we're going to have that particular charge on this list. The other thing she's potentially going to be charged with is a DUI, but that will have to be tested down the station. Um, so what I'll do is go ahead, charge it to her, and at the station, they will um, go ahead and test her for that and if she comes back fine they can drop that dui all right all right let's get her to the station requesting police transport assistance needed in west finewood all right she's gonna get loaded up in the ram that ram can't actually transport people it's got a back row that's partitioned off so it's very helpful oh my gosh let me move my car because he is coming for me i just want to make sure she gets transported okay So that should wrap up this call. And that's going to wrap up our patrol as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you have feedback about the patrols or have a cool mod you think would be great to include, leave a comment down below. If not, I will catch you guys on the next patrol. Thanks for watching.